So, uh, good, uh, good morning, everyone. So, uh, this will be a lecture series by Professor Guru Prasad Kaur. Many of you probably know him, or students, I just want to introduce him. Guruja uh, probably is one of the first person in India to start researching quantum information theory. Uh, he's from ISI Kolkata, senior professor there. And in community, he is more mostly known as Guruja. So in the, there will be a three talk, which is two hour. Today it will be from 11 to 1. And then another talk will be on 28. And another will be on 30. So we will have one hour talk. And then we will be a few, uh, 10 minutes break, three break. And then again we will join. So in this talk, Guruja has uh, agreed to cover the topic of concept of privacy and then quantum error correction. And the full talk will be, uh, uh, and we will also record this talk. And for online participant, I will request all of you, if you have any question, you can ask after one hour break. Before the break, you can ask your question. And again, at the end of the talk, you can take the question. Through the please. Thanks, Pali, for the introduction. Uh, Manik actually, maybe long back, uh, asked me uh, to speak on quantum error correction. So, uh, yeah, uh, asked me for speaking on a, a quantum error correction. And I, 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 I know this is a quantum error correction code, uh, but we still have no formal study on this thing. So oh, I was thinking, oh, this is a nice subject, a uh, very powerful subject, and let me try to convey it. Because generally, it happens that uh, students working in this area, because they need quantum error correction for in their research. Uh, so here I'll say avoid. But still, I will be telling that uh, still you may not need error correcting code in your uh, words that you are doing, uh, but uh, having ideas about error correcting code will help you immediately. It is such a powerful and subject, and it is not very uh, old subject. Maybe first error correcting code was discovered in 1990. So, and Bennett has a comment that without understanding the full implication of error correcting code, quantum error correcting code. Uh, somehow, code managed to discover first error correcting code, and this code now is known as short 1984. We'll discuss this story. But I was thinking that uh, why why shouldn't I uh, combine the crazy, which is a very basic feature of quantum mechanics, and, and error correcting code? But this is a very, 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 it's not that simple. So I don't know whether I should be able to complete the whole thing in three lectures. And my question is that I need to have it here. I think that may not be possible. But what I will do, yeah, so we have to live, we have to be clear. So I, I will just state things, and uh, if you are interested, you have to read books written by the Chuan, Steve Lecter, and some other people. Why? These books you have to follow. 
I am not going to derive things if it is not required because we will take them. But I will try to ponder on it. But before going to actual quantum channel theory, I will discuss something which is very interesting but which is not directly related to quantum channel theory. I will start with private beach. So, So Manik told that after the lecture you can ask questions, but sometimes I will interact with you and they have some questions, but if you have some big questions, then you do it right. So can you, can you tell me an example where the private beach is private? Yes? Uh -huh. What passwords came to us? No, no, no. I am telling, give an example of private beach. But you know, two followers far away, they may be sharing systems, our classical systems, and they can have private beach. What is the guarantee? Yes? Yes. 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 Maybe some of you may be very new in this area. So I'll give you how, how this warming Bennett Prashad proved uh, that red state is sneaky. And I'm not speaking on device in the uh, So so if you take a general state. So I just have a system, very quantum system, of course quantum system, <coughs> Bob as a quantum system, but they are correlated with it. Now I am considering that Alice has a qubit, Bob has a qubit, Bob about if system, I am not making any, uh, any I am not giving any restriction in many, many times. I give the freedom to you. Not, not only that I may tell you. You supply me the state. Right? Now I will I will demand something. So psi a b e, can you tell me what is the most general form? If Alice system and Bob system are qubit, this will be a I am claiming that this is the most general system of Alice, Bob, and D, provided Alice's system is a qubit, Bob system is another qubit. This is the most general system. Now, Alice and Bob want to have private key. So, if Alice and Bob wanted, wants to have private key, then their result has to be correlated. So can you tell me which of the two terms should vanish? Yeah. So I can erase these terms. Now we have a private key. So maybe they will have many copies of this estate and finally we'll have key. So, what other condition it has to satisfy? What will, what will be the fraction of 0 and fraction of 1 for private key? Equally. Yeah. So, again, there is a restriction. Now, you clearly see that if Addison Bob 
results in the day basis, then they will have key. Whether it will be private or not, that's a different question. But now you see, if I keep E00 and E11 also orthogonal, then if Edison Walk have a private trying to generate a key by making measurements in the jet basis, then if we'll make a measurement in this E00, E11 basis, and we'll get the key. Because when Alice will, uh, he will collapse on E00, he will know that Alice and Bob is sharing, are sharing E00. And when he is, he is, he is collapsing on E11, wow. but Alice and Bob, Alice and Bob will, will uh, also perform measurement in the sigma x basis and they, they want to say where in the x basis they are also good. Now you do this simple mathematics. What you do, you express this 0, 0 and 1, 1 in terms of plus and minus basis, which is like a state of sigma x. And again, you demand that in the x basis, they are also correlated. I am not doing the mathematics, it's very simple mathematics. And you will see the final solution will be he will be completely uncorrelated. So, what is the demand? If Edison Bob wants a state or wants to share a state which is correlated. In two basis, jet basis as well as x basis, then the only solution is this. So, Alice and Bob, if they want correlation in the x basis as well as jet basis, then the only <coughs> solution is that you will do that it is phi plus, phi plus is nothing but 0, 0 plus 1 on by root 2. And if system is will be completely uncorrelated. So it is very powerful. If you order E itself, who wants to be in the proper, that you give me supply of high class state or dead state or a state which will be correlated in J basis as well as X basis, then he will try if E is in proper and he is also the supplier, so he has the full advantage. He will try to correlate his system with that is box system and get the key. But as Alice and Bob will test whether the state that is given is correlated in both X basis and both J basis, for that they have to, they have to explain some of the systems uh, and throw them out after this measurement. But Ali, then he has to, to be to be honest, he has to he has to supply a state which is like this. That means though he is a supplier. He cannot correlate with the system because Alice and Bob will check whether it is correlated in both the basis, plus basis as well as but this demand is too much. Then I can tell that this is a PV. That means this generates one private bit. If you are sure that you are sharing five plus, then you are also sure that you are sharing one private bit. To generate that, only thing that you have to do, you have to perform measurement either in X basis or in J basis. But to check whether the correct state has been given to you, you have to perform in the both basis and check them. And after checking, if you are sure that you are five plus, you will not measure in the X basis, you just measure in the J basis and get the key because you know then the rest of the world is totally uncorrelated. <coughs> but I am asking a different question. Of course, this phi plus is a p bit. That means it generates one private. I am asking a different question. Is it necessary? Or, or I can say. Phi plus is phi plus necessary for 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 a private bit. Of course, this is a private bit, but I am asking 
whether five glass that we born with it is necessary for a baby. We will ask this question. Because finally, what I want, finally, what I want, finally, I want if I can generate after measuring this thing up, if, if I can generate something like this, which is called sometimes CC West. Because this is classical, no? CCQ state. If I can generate a CCQ state like this, then Alison Bob has a secret key because the heat system is completely uncoordinated. My final aim, because if I perform measurement on this thing, if I perform measurement of this thing in the jail basis, finally I get like this thing. But so the question is, I have to see whether there is some more general state than this, which can generate correlation like this. If they generate correlation like this, where Alice and Bob shares a bit, but if system is completely uncorrelated, then I can say they have generated a private bit. So again, we start with this thing. I type generalize the picture. I put A here, B here is a qubit. I put another system, a prime, B prime, and I want to see whether this is a private bit. So now the system is not two plus two. Or at this box system, which is not two plus two, maybe two plus two, but it may be something like this: two d plus two d one plus two d two. Well, if the a prime system has dimension d d one uh, d one and uh, b prime system has d two, then I have to write, I have to modify this equation. Why we are introducing a prime and b prime? Yeah, you will see because I want to see whether there is there are some more general state than EBIT, which also can generate private. Of course, one EBIT can private generate private bit, whether one EBIT is necessary to generate private. So I'm going to generate. But things will be clear. So there is a theorem. I am writing this theorem first. It is a density matrix. This is a density matrix. If a density matrix has this form, where A kind of kind of 
कंट्रोल्ड क्यूमिकल ऑपरेशन इफ ए डेंसिटी मैट्रिक्स तो टू सिस्टम इज दिस साइड ए एंड ए1 दिस साइड बी एंड बी1 इफ द शेयर इज स्टेट लाइक दिस if the share is state like this then it is private it is look very involved no apparently it looks very involved so it is pi plus pi plus on ab some arbitrary density matrix rho ab and on the whole system there is unitary operator that in And this unitary operator again has a particular form, which is like one B one. Yeah. Depending on A B, you perform some unitary operation. So this is like something like some control unitary operation. So if you have a, this kind of a state, then you have one private. Right? Now what you are Your immediate feeling will be, oh, anyway, from phi plus I can get a one e bit of a time. So there is of course a phi one, but you will see the interesting part of this thing. This state can be made such that still, if, if again I am telling this is called private bit because by measuring on a b system you get private. I mean. Finally, you will get zero zero one one, and it will be after five one four zero. And maybe a one b one, maybe it may be with that is what it may not be with that is what, but it is certainly not with. Now, what what is interesting that these states may not have one in each of them, and not only that, there is a particular kind of state where. The entanglement, disturbance entanglement of this state will be almost zero. And it cannot be strictly equal to zero, but it may be sufficiently small. Still, you have one private. So, what I am trying to tell from one unit to one unit, perfect entanglement between the system block, what you can achieve for two units. Of course, it generates one one unit, or this. Having one bit of distribution entanglement is not necessary to generate a private, right? and this proof is not very difficult. Uh, you can write it. I'm not writing the other terms. <coughs> Because this is the more I could start with the most general, but there will be four terms. But already you know, because we don't want we don't want uh, zero one and one zero. That's why we need those terms, and also we make it. Because equal number of zero and equal number equals number of zero and one. Now, what is the condition for privacy? What is the condition for privacy? Condition of privacy is this thing: if Alice and Bob, by making sigma j measurement, collapses on zero, that time say if state is rho zero zero e, and if Alice and Bob gets one one, then say if state collapses on. What is the privacy condition? 
Uh, if they are not orthogonal, then you can get some information. So, best condition is very <coughs> Which tells that V1, V1, E is equal to say it will be equal to case of A1, V1. And we can because what is the state of state of Alice? At a state of if, if Alice collapses on this thing on 0, 0, then A1, B1, E will collapse on psi 0, 0. Then what is the state of if? You test out over A1, B1, you get this thing. You get this thing. And similarly, when Alice and Bob collapses on 1, 1, what is the state of A1, B1, E? This will be this. And again, you, by taking place of over A1, B1, you get at the state of B. So this is the condition. If this is the condition actually, then this psi A1 B1 psi 0 What can you tell me what will be the relation between these two states if, if you trace over A1, B1 from here as well as if you trace over A1, B1 here? I am writing so consider it. I just the test sign to tell you that consider now it is a test. This means if I write psi 0, 0, you get it as like this. Again and again, writing this big thing, I am writing this. Now, can you tell me? Uh, oh, no, no. From this thing, if you, if, if, see, if system, what you get if system by tracing over this thing, of course, when you get tracing, like it in forms of this, like this. And if you trace out A1, B1 from here, you get the if state, you want them to be same. Then can you tell me what will be the generalization between these two? There's only one square. Local on yeah, so it is nothing but U A B versus even B one U A one B one. So more generally, actually, what you can do, so you can write it as. Uh, you can put here, that means it is like this, but you can write it as here. here, you put it like in one one, you put it here in zero, zero. then also it is, because whatever unitary operator you operate on AB, it will not change the density matrix of E. Now, yeah, if you write this thing in this thing, then finally, if you trace over E, you will get a form like this, where E will be like this. So this is the so, so you maintain the privacy condition, and maintaining the privacy condition, the, you start from the most general state, and putting the privacy condition, finally the form that you get is. So this is called private bit. So private bit is different. 
does not depend on entanglement. It depends on the structure. If it has a structure like this, a structure like this with this unitary, then it is automatically private. Now the question is whether it is the one unit of entanglement, it has one unit of entanglement. That is a different question because if it is a special case, of course it has one unit of entanglement. But I will give you a nice example. Uh, does this uh, form uh, always uh, yields uh, entangles? However, we think that yeah. it has to be entangles. No separable Yeah. Instead of high class, if we use a longer class, then of course you will not get one. Because I am sticking on that I have one private. I'm taking it. Only condition is these two are orthogonal couples. Now, this is your task that this state has this form. You prove that this state, if rho A1, B1, and rho R1, if they are orthogonal suppose, then this state has this form. I'm not going to do that. But I am I'll be doing something very simple. I consider a state very simple a state. Phi 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 are orthogonal. This is a one b one. This is a one. I am considering a very simple. This is phi class between a b. Then some arbitrary state phi phi two copies of phi one with a one another with b one, and these are two orthogonal. So I am maintaining that. They, they, have, they should have orthogonal support and maintaining. Can you tell me the unification? Can you tell me the unification? When you want me to work, what to work? See, you know. If you want me to are orthogonal, you could paste out here, you will get back there. No? Can you calculate that? Can we simply tell me if I take 0, 0 AB, what will be the rest? Very quickly. Hmm? 
Now I will one hour. Then what will be the thing? Oh, sorry, this has not been completed. After this thing, it will be root over one minus p. And with one one. This is even. They possibly minus. Now let Alice has collapsed. Alice performs addition of performs in budget measurement dot collapses on zero. Now can you tell me the state of if? Because these two states are orthogonal. So you have to trace over. So if Alice collapses on zero zero, he will, uh, this system may be A1, B1, he will collapse on this thing. I want I am interested to find the density matrix of E. What it will be? P times D one A1 plus one. So for zero zero or Alice Bob, if system will be P E1. Sorry, one, one, plus. And if it is one, one, maybe I have to consider some one by root two. Then what will be the state of it? Same. You are convinced that they are same. Because then you have to trace over this part. So, so it is perfect with because Alice and Bob are from simple jet measurement, but their results may be 0, 0, or 1, 1. But whatever it is, this system is. But you said the initial the state you have taken, that is a 1. Uh, let Alice and Bob, that's why I'm going to tell that it is not interesting, but that it is very powerful. In the sense that C that E makes a measurement on this system. If he collapses on E1, he can tell Alice Bob that you have a perfect perfect E. So he can extract one bit of information. He can tell whether they are sharing phi plus or phi minus. But he still he cannot get access to right. This measurement piece. In that sense, it is very powerful. So you can tell AB gives to private P, A1, B1 is shielding, is that playing the role of shielding, shielding to our to it. Rave, I cannot, you may be you may be able to tell which entangled state we are sharing, state will not allow you whether we get zero zero or whether we get zero. This is very powerful. But of course, you tell it is still one in the top in time. Because it can clear, even it will perform the measure these product states. So, if one perform measurement on this A1, B1, they can also tell that. Now, I am I will be telling you an example of an state. So I, I think you, you get the idea of shielding. This A1, B1 is playing the role of shielding. The shielding is knowledge about the bit. So if, in this example, you can know whether they are sharing high class or not. You can get one bit of information, but it is the wrong, wrong information. You can get idea of EV, but you cannot access to the results. Does this not become equivalent if, if, if self uh, gives the uh, 
Right, high plus of time energy because then also you know which runs high plus. So, so let me tell you that the DBM is very powerful and simple also. Here they will test whether the correct state has been given. Here I am not telling you. I am getting what is the most general form of one private bill. Well, in now if EV supplier, if EV supplier, then I will check whether the correct DB has been given to me. That check is not there. That, you know, that needs further requirements, which might have been done by your I'm not going to tell. But I will, I will finish after giving you a very nice example. Because you are thinking, as, as Bill uh, told that, still they are sharing one bit of entanglement. This is very interesting. China did one in Yeah. So we, we, we don't gain, but it is not, the picture, the actual picture is not like this. Only thing you have to remove. Now, yeah. Already you told that people still believe that the state is this type of thing. The P I plus I plus tensor from some state and one minus P I minus tensor from state, which is, and then it also they are there in a orthogonal side. Yeah, but I do the same thing. Some say, is this necessary? Yeah, is this possibly it is the necessary. Otherwise, this will not come to this. But I'm saying necessary and sufficient. If, if, if this type of form is given, then immediately you can get some one bit private. So, if a state has this form, then it, is, it can give you one private. But after that, that, after that, this will come up to some other form. Rho A1, B1, Rho bar A1. Yeah, that's it. Pi plus. No, if you have that form, then you always get this form. Yeah, that I, much I, I don't need to check. Okay. I don't need to check. I have not checked. If you have this form, then always you can. If, if the extent that I showed and I discussed, I didn't show that it has this form. I am telling you to check that. <laughs> uh, I have this one question. So this. Uh, IJ index in this U, it is running over 0001. Ah, so but this particular state maybe this will not give any contribution. No, but uh, that AP state doesn't have any component in the anti correlated basis. So two of the unitary will not contribute in this. Ah, but this is the most general form. Maybe it will not give, give you nothing. Now, if you take P is equal to 1 plus, so it is in D, both are in D dimension, this. P you take as 1 plus 1 by D by P. To take value of this P, value of this thing, and make it rho S. And rho a, where rho s is equal to 2 p square plus g p symmetric. Symmetric means it is projection on symmetric surface of this g, g cross g system. And uh, rho a is equal to 2 p square minus g rho asymmetric system. Asymmetric surface. So if you apply this value of P and take this state, then then this then it's 
log negativity log negativity of this Ellis box system Now look at this log negativity. Log negativity is the upper bound of this level at times. So if D is very high, they are not in the value of this thing. Zero. So still it has of this form, which will give you private view, but it still is still very dynamic. And in some other ways, this kind of states can be constructed where, where uh, there's a big gap between this level P and this. So, general relation that they are you can get. So, you, you can see this PRL whether I have given this reference. Security from bound entanglement, quality group, PRL, two thousand one. So, so, so. This row S and row A, yeah. they are orthogonal circles. Yes, yeah. but LOCs we cannot probably here perfect in distinguish. But still, you don't care about. No, I'm saying if LOCs we can perfect in distinguish, it will always be one equity. Yeah, that's, that's they are playing the role. Uh, now, you, if you in terms of bound distinguishability, then what you have to do? You have to take. Uh, you have to take one of them to be row S and other to be row S plus row A. You have to be this thing. Then you can you can you can create hiding state. So then also there will be difference between TV and and and, and, and this level. I'm saying yeah, if we, if we instead of row S and row A, we use this Shonshu brothers kind of state. Yeah. U P B projects. Yeah. That. So so I, I get to your point. Try to make these two. As much is indistinguishable, you can do by LOC. Yes. Then also you will get big difference. But here the straight result is just straightforward because you can calculate this thing and see how that yeah. is vanishing. Yes. Yes. But if you want to create more general thing, then one uh, is correct. Try to make these two states such that they are locally or they are, it is very difficult to locally distinguish. Then also you can, you can, you can. Lower the this level and that has been no, but that kind of thing. Can you write it in this form? At the lowest medium, at the lowest medium. No, but uh, the question yeah, you have to show in that that can be written that yeah. that is an yeah. But what you do when then the orthogonality then it will then it can be it can always be written. Now I'm saying some super that you do. You to be subspace and orthogonal subspace by construction, they are orthogonal. Right. I agree. Asymmetric or asymmetric. Yeah. Yeah. Symmetric, symmetric subspace and upper projector. Yeah. Yeah. That is density matrix. Yeah. Symmetric subspace. Yeah. 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 For all sides, you put a size. You can use a for all possible sides. Taken here is a for all possible sides. Taken here is a subspace for it. That is So here D is the dimension of A1, A1 and B1. Yeah. So we can fix the spread. 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 So we
then then i can i can i i, I can this is only the content that's the content Thinking this way. Suppose I give you a best state, you have to tell whether it is singlet or not singlet. That is same as distinguishing symmetric versus antisymmetric. Are you feeling that if they are on optimal support, they can always be perfectly illustrated? Well, I think it's saying it's a sense. Well, I can perform the local example take some example of the equal to then in the symmetric of this is a to be up to the root of the so the, so the, the symmetric subspace is all three best states except phi minus psi minus right yeah. symmetric it is symmetric. No. You take the shy side for all side and that substance. So uh, the union of symmetric and anti-symmetric is the whole thing. So maybe we have P at 12, I think, but still we can. So let me summarize. If you want to ask something, otherwise I will summarize that. This is the first question. Yeah, any question from online? <laughs> from online, if you have any question, you can ask at this point. We'll then take a 10 minutes, 15 minutes break. At 10, 12, we'll meet. I meet Chata Chata. So let me summarize. So, so as I started, let me repeat it again. Uh, question is, generating private bit and you have a nice solution in quantum mechanics and first it was used by Eckert in 1991 and then the next two where they have shown that you have if you have one image of entanglement then of course you have a CPO one bit CPO but but here in 2005 already put a different question of course they tell that if you have one unit of entanglement, of course you have it. But whether it is necessary that you have one unit of entanglement to have one secure, one bit of secure key. And we see that it is not, there is a general form, but the form is important. How much entanglement, distributed entanglement is there? It is not important. Important is it has a particular form for getting one private bit. And if, if a state has this particular form, then of course we have to stand it that we will have one private bit. Now, this state may have one bit of entanglement because the simplest case is you can take five bucks. Things are rule. So, but, but the question is uh, that whether you can get some states, the interesting part is this thing, that whether you can have some state where this is still an entanglement, is strictly less than one unit, still you can get one private. This is the most important question. And we have some glaring examples where this, of course, this state has some nice properties. One thing is, is this entanglement cannot be zero. It can be vanishingly small, but it has been shown that this entanglement is not zero. Not only that, it violates the system. This state, private state, violates the system, shown by RC. So there's a nice, actually, uh, nice discussion. Actually, after that, the paper that I told you about Horodegi, Horodegi, what they did, they started a, from a bound entanglement state in a particular form. And they showed that if you take infinite number of those bound entanglement states, then by by this recursive, like recursive distillation protocol in, in our standard literature, from those bound entanglement states, you can, we are a state, single state, so asymptotic rate will be zero, but you can reach a state like this. 
or you can reach a state whose distance from this state is very low. That means approximately you can clear these estates one private bit from starting from bound and then the state. So there has been some debate that, uh, that these are not anything discoverable entanglement, but bound entanglement, how many uh, copies you take of a bound entanglement, you should not be able to distill any amount of entanglement. But then the argument was given that they are not equal. From starting from bound and manual state, actually you can have a state where that distance between that is some in some norm. Uh, distance between this state and that state is actually a small. So they are not just equal. Then again, the, another question came because mm -hmm. that time this question of bound entanglement uh, problem was not solved. People used to believe that believe that bound entanglement as Perez told, Perez conjecture, the bound entangled state will have local description. So, uh, bound entangled state will never, never, never violate the principle. But people used to believe, but now we know that bound entangled state indeed violates the principle. Then again, this question comes that you take infinite number of bound entangled states, but still it will, it will be local. It will be local. So, how from the bound entangled state you can reach? A state which can violate wealth inequality. Because I told you that all private estates violate wealth inequality. So, again, this is a contradiction, but the argument is something like this, as I put They are not the same states, but they are very close. At least they are close in terms of MPE. But now we know bound and angle states violate wealth inequality. So, this question has become really valid. During that time, it was very important. Okay, we can stop at this point. Again, we will meet after tea at 12.15. Exactly sharp 12.15, 12, we will start.
How are you? Yeah, I think I'm fine. Right now, where are you? Thank <laughs> you. 
was little bit of truth from my name. Uh, my main aim is to uh, connect general theory of secrecy and and uh, for that I will start from Shannon and I know uh, I think that all of you know uh, Shannon theorem. Who does not know Shannon theorem? Is there anyone who does not know Shannon theorem? So I start with a very simple information theory expression. Let there is a coin whose a probability of getting head is p and probability of getting tail is 1 minus p. Now let you toss the coin again and again, say the one lakh so we we'll get a sequence of cases. So can you tell me how many sequences you will get? Okay, then you will get how many different sequences you will get? How many sequences are possible? How many sequences are possible? Two to the power. Because all are heads, all are heads, one head, just one head. Then the head can appear first, second place, first. In this way, in that, in the time, go to the car. <laughs> so, how many? Now, we want to say one lakh times you have caused the coin, write the results, and you have to convert it to your price. So, how many bits will be required? <coughs> how many bits of one lakh is the exact result. Question is whether I can do better. I mean, spending less amount of bits, I can convert this information. And so now we think so. So if you do it n times. And for P, I put 0, and for, for head, I, can, I put 0, and for tail, I put 1. Then, in principle, I get 2 to the power n number of sequences. 
number of possible city access. Now, canon for that, canon for that, a particular type of sequence will appear with almost with probability probably one hundred percent cases, almost hundred percent cases, we will get a particular surface. That means in this particular case, which is very long, maybe one lot times, then only those sequences we log are where P into N number of head is there and what minus P into N head is there. This kind of sequence, length is N, but only those sequences will appear mostly, those sequences, where their number of head is P into N and number of tail will be 1 minus P into N. And this is called typical sequence. Typical. Can you tell me what will be the number of those sequences where there are PN number of zeros or PN number of page and 1 minus P number of pages? How many sequences are there? C or P, but actually it is like something like this. This kind of C, no C, 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 C. And to take the log of this thing, and you use the result. If n is very high, am I correct? Correct. So you use this formula. Then what you get here, this is actually uh, uh, n into HP, where HP. So, how many sequences will be there? So, how many sequences will be there? Two power. <coughs> and Shannon has proved that <coughs> this kind of sequence where n into p numbers are eight or Zero and one minus p into n number of scale or one. Their number is this thing, and this sequence with these sequences will be almost will be the probability of getting such sequence will be almost one if n is very very large. That means if n tends to infinity, the probability of getting other sequences. You 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 you, you can you cannot neglect the other sequences. What is, what will be the largest? If I consider typical sequences and atypical sequences, which is larger? Huh? Atypical sequences are larger, where number is not something like this, n p number, n p number of zero and one minus n p one. This is not around them, their number is very high compared to this thing. But occurrence, occurrence of probability of their occurrence is almost. So Shannon is telling that you do the coin tossing and if you get a atypical sequence where this number is not equal to like the p number of zero and one minus mm -hmm. zero one, then you can instead something and it will be a, there will be error. But when you get typical sequence, actually instead of using n number of bits you use n into hp number of bits and then go to. because number is low so you, you need to so you you correctly encode 
when the CPL tool is within the typical. So this is typical. And this is atypical. Atypical set is large, but probability of getting there is very, very extremely small. So when your after your coin tossing, it, it, it comes in this set, typical, then the number of typical sequences is this thing. So using that training to show HP qubits and uh, HP bits, you send the information and your training will be decoded. But but you need not be afraid. Shannon is telling you need not be afraid. You are thinking that number of atypical is also large, so maybe I will get some training atypical and atypical for atypical. I am not getting that step. Correctly convey the information. But Shannon is the important. You take the risk and do this. Because do the coin tossing all the times, it will be in that. But there is the mathematical proof. You will be successful. I am not going in that. I, I don't know much about proving this. We have done this. I mean, if I use uh, instead of using this number of bits, if I use something less, then error will be very. This this does proof by like that. But this technical proof, Noki is expert, maybe he is also an expert, he will be an expert. But I don't come out. This thing, but I don't need it. Ah, cover and cover. But here, some one also you get this, maybe, 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 basically, a chance of yourself. But the actual proof has to be Commas and cover. So now, from now on, we will not care. We will not care about atypical. We will always, always take into account only typical, only getting to HD kind of. I gave you a reference for 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 synthesis, some corner corner and some some different. Have you seen? Have you seen this paper? I was. Saw the paper, I could not understand that. But this one's strong typical. Huh? I think it's very really strong typical. Not, not the probability, it actually works on the frequency like, instead of probability. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It, it is not readable by this. At least I saw once, then I was afraid and I never saw. But this was discovered, uh, this channel capacity theorem was proved in 1940. 48, but this question of secrecy was discovered in 1976, maybe first, and then 1993. Caesar and Connor came in 1970s or 1990s, possibly 1993. But before that, someone did some Caesar. But I am a little bit surprised when this sequence derivation was done so right, after so much time. Because it is so, 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 so intuitive. And I am trying to convey this thing because in physics, generally, and in usual literature, we don't get other than these papers. So I I take maybe the rest of the lecture will be channel capacity and then how. Decreasing can be derived. So, so I will assume that regarding entropy, you know that is not because I cannot derive it. The channel is you are giving some input x, getting some output y. Okay, then there is some, 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 uh, some quantity. What are the quantities? Some mutual information, conditional information, all these things are there. 
this is condition as this is mensual how this is defined <coughs> x y minus and how this is defined yeah but it can be written as or equivalently I will assume that on this thing you have but I will try to it in detail. Now, question is that <coughs> input is x, output is y, and then some. So maybe when channel therapy is something like this, you are through the channel, uh, in classical world, there is no on the beat. So you are sending zero, but channel is such that. The P probability is maybe negative. One minus P probability is negative. Similarly, when you send in one, again, it may be then in one probability and this one zero. That means it's negative. The Shannon put a very interesting question. All channels are like this, say. They, they are equal to completely independent channel, but all has this property that if you send legs, it will go to, it will send zero, <coughs> with some probability it will be zero, with some probability it will go to one, and it will go to one. Then I put a very important question. Can this kind of channel be used to send information back? You are using bad channels, but information has to be sent correctly. This is a very challenging question. Uh, I, I think it is one of the most fundamental discoveries of the Not only quantum information science, science. It's very, very important question. So, I, I'll give you a bit. <laughs> and from now on, as I have told you, I use only Artificial cells are completely ignored. So, if you consider some of N symbols and you are considering bits, so there are N into 2 to the power NHX number of points are there. I mean, Number of sequences are there, I represent them by point. Every sequence here yeah, it takes a point. And this is binary symmetric channel. So how to send it? So it is length of the sequence is n, so we have to use the channel n times. And now do you think that if I send all of them, so how many channels will be required to send this thing? Huh? N number of channels. Huh? So now question is. Question is, will you send it? I mean, if you send in this way, every bit by every one bit this channel, and next bit another channel, next bit another channel. In this way, if you send, you think your friend will get the correct information that you wanted to send? So, what is the strategy? What should be our strategy? Let me ask you one question. So channel is channel is zero goes to zero and one 
this is with p this is with 1 minus 1. now can you tell me if i take a particular sequence let's say all are zeros then after this channel if you send this all zeros through this channel what will be the sequence on the other side that means if all are zeros it will go to so how many sequences yeah you will get two to the power n h p number of possible strings i am again i am told you that always i will consider there is a chance that all zeros will correctly pass to the other side but it is not in that my typical so i will not consider i will consider on the typical so now if all are zero then actually the point here i can i i draw the picture here A point here, say all are zeros. Here it will, here it will go to a spare or previous say uh, HP. So what is the size of this thing? If all are zero, what is the size of this thing? What is the size of this thing? How many points will be there? Spare, two, two into two to the power n h. Now, if you try to send all of them, if you, if you want to pick chart that well, I, I send anyone from them, then actually it will be something like this here. <laughs> because there will be cross section between these spheres. Now, Shannon is telling. You don't send all of them. You try to send instead of sending this much information, you take you take this information. Sir, yes. This is a that question is not coming. Oh. That sphere that is oh, no, 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 no. It's coming. Because water is there. No, 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 no. Here also there is a water so circle of the there's circle of the earth. Like the circuit of the chance. Yes, I got two to the power two. Yeah. 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 You can draw one more line. Circle the lift more. Yeah. Let this is message one, this is message two, this is message one, and what of the message I want to say. So I I lessen the message by a factor of well R is in general. Oh, when R is equal to one, if the channels are parted, then point will go to another point. But here, point is going to a square. And if you take all possibility, then it will be something like this. And Bob will not, Bob will not be able to recover anything. This is the problem. So you take this number of information and encode them. By choosing here from here 2 to the power n into r number of sequences. Now, how to choose? Because there are 2 to the power n h x number of points, but this number is less, so you have to choose from here. This may be an engineering problem. That, because what why it is an engineering problem? <coughs> You have to choose two to the power, not all the point, only two to the power n r points in such a way that this goes to a square here, this goes to another square which is disjoint, this goes to here, this goes to here, so that they don't intersect. But if 
difficulty is where is it good? You are not use the full power. So how can you use the full power? They will be disjoint as well as they will completely cover the whole. This called packing here. The classical this. So I want this thing like this, very close, very close, very close, because I want to make this number as small as possible. Like this, they become disjoint, but still they also cover the whole region. I don't want them some region because then I will I I will not use my full capacity. So, two to the power n our message is being sent through this channel. Now, what is the size of this pair? How many sequences are there? It is. 2 power n h given y given x. No? For a given x, how many y's are there? That means for a given x, how many y's are there? This is captured by this number. This is the size of the sphere for the given x. Yeah. Now, this cannot. Because always I will deal with typical sequences actually. A typical forget about. So this is the full size of this y set. So it should be less than or equal to this full size. Then can you tell me what about R? So this is nothing but so I cannot go beyond now with the book in the book we have seen that channel capacity is Maximum of i x y, maximum of our x. So that is probably i notation. <laughs> and at the same time, if i is greater than this thing, then again Shannon proves that you will have much. So, per channel, your information is the amount of information that you are sending is, but it, it, sometimes you may be think that things are coming in this way and you are maximizing over it, but it is indeed that because on the channel you have no control. Channel is Described by P, uh, P of y given x given y. y. Uh, sorry, y given x. That you cannot change. So we have to maximize the work. P of Q of Distribution of this. How this thing is there coming from some so equability zero here, zero coming in probability with Q, and one coming with probability one minus Q. We have to maximize our distance because it is in your hand. And maybe for binary channel, you will see that if you make it half, 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 then it is the best. Then actually, this quantity will be the power n1 minus h. I mean, after for binary channel, I'm going to maximize the over x, that means maximize the over q. Now, I want this picture. Then it is a very difficult problem. How to choose, how to prove to the power nhx, how to choose 
2 to the power n number of points so that it is mapped in this way. <laughs> this is again a challenging problem. Engineering problem, you have to choose properly. So that their distance is high, so that they are mapped to a square, but which is this one. Channel again would be nice thing. Channel telling you randomly choice choose two to the power n number of points. Randomly choose. Am I correct? So in this way you can actually construct many cells. How many cells you can produce? In H by this number of you can choose. This will be easy. But before that. Now I will discuss something which does not come from physics, but which will assume. And I don't know why, why, why Shannon did not use. Maybe the question of secrecy was not important that time. Challenge was that channel is bad, we have to send studio information, we have to send the information correctly. Challenge was that, not to generate secrecy. Now I consider a channel there is a leakage. So when you are trying to send channel information X to Bob, because of the bad channel it becomes Y, but some but something is going to the E box whose variable is J. Now, let us assume it is not supported by physics. We will say quantum world, it may be supported by physics. It is not supported by any physics. I cannot guarantee you. Maybe, maybe you can create some situation where I am sending it, then you go, then I send something, then I hope up and saw what I saw. In this way, he is getting this information. So I am assuming. Sorry, again. I am assuming this thing. Again, I am telling which is not supported. But how can I guarantee this? Then I am telling I am not, I don't know any physical laws in classical world which can guarantee. But I am assuming. Then I will show you that secrecy can be created. <laughs> so just to discover what that is packing theorem. We are selecting some points to the power nr so that they are mapped from after the channel, they are mapped to some square because of the error, and those errors remain disjoint as well as they cover the whole thing, which is sometimes sometimes called packing theorem. Now, can you tell me? So here are some of the points if you check randomly, then they will cover the whole thing. Now, can you tell me, similarly, here are also some points you take, it will cover the whole thing. Okay. 
there also it is similar which contains more which one contains more points to have this kind of thing already i have three catch upper one has more points but means by upper one i can send more information lower one i can send more that means there yeah, the number of points which will pack this thing and the number of points which will pack this thing uh, will be which one is number is higher this number is higher this number is lower so this number here the size is 2 to the power n i x y and here is the number is 2 to the power n i Okay. Here, here less number will pack, whereas larger here larger number will pack. So more information can be sent by this, this one than this one. Now there is a nice case. This is for now each of size into the power n i x that means if you send information from this if you encode information in this points in this thing then it can be it map to this thing. That means walk correctly because the message. And I told them that you can choose this thing in, into my randomly. Then how many of them can be chosen? How many of them are there? Two to the power. Two to the power n h x by two to the power n i x. How many such squares are there? Total is 2 to the power nhx, and each of these i has 2 to the power ni. Then you divide them. Finally, you get this is 2 to the power n h x given y. No, not the y given x. x given y. No? The number of these blocks, this number is this. And for within each block, because already I told you, is i, x, y is strictly greater than x, z. So block of x, z will be smaller. Like put <laughs> in this in each of these blocks containing 2 to the power n into i x y points i put another block which contains 2 to the power n i x z points because they are lower that means if you if you take points from here and to send through the channel, then you can recover the information from each small box. But 
if you send, if you don't give any information about these blocks to him, then it will not cover anything because these blocks will cover, these blocks will cover, this block, block will cover, this all the blocks, the small blocks will cover or back if subspace, if if or what should be called if 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 is space. Now, can you tell me uh, how many how many such blocks are there? How many such blocks are there in a bigger block? Oh, well. Okay, what is the edict of the use for the Now see what is the protocol. At least choose a particular sequence of zero ones so that it is in the chemical sequence. Then, and if I number them, how many numbers are there? This is number one, this is number two, similarly three or two, and how many finally will be there? So, one, two, so this is one, two, three or two. To the power n, h a x given, this will be the number. So, as I told you, at least choose a particular sequence which is the TV. Now, at least looks in which of the blocks it is there. It is number one, or number two, or number three, number four, or number two to the power n into. I put it by n into h x given. Hmm? Alice is creating, so Alice knows. So Alice informed this to Bob before sending that it is coming from that particular number box. Okay? So how many communication will be there? How much communication is there? Communication will be there. In each So, think. At least, at least did that. Then through the channel, <laughs> so at it is at it is coming from the either from this block or this block or this block or this block. Whatever block it comes, if block number is given, then at least Bob can discriminate or Bob, Bob can learn that. For, uh, points because let's say it is k1 so for k1 after you are coming to bomb it will just pack up and by looking at this thing by looking at this thing at this can at this can learn the Points. Oh, oh, oh. Bob can launch the point. Now, what will be the condition of if? But Bob launch the point, but Bob finally calculate from which blocks it is coming. Bob can launch the point system, but Bob will not write that. What Bob will write? Bob will write whether it is one or two or three or sorry, it is not this one. This one. Sorry.
Oh, Bob will. Bob will like that. Ah, uh, Bob will. Again, you have to number in this thing, inside thing. One, two, three, four, up to. Bob will record that. that so, Alice will inform this block. And Bob will note down because this is public announcement. One, two, up to. So to the power n n x given y. This is public. This thing can also hear. But what Bob will recover? Recover that in that block, which from which a small block it is coming, he will write those things and express them in terms of bits. So how many bits will be there? N into <coughs> but if there is no question of secrecy, then this amount of bits could be. This amount of information could be sent, but for secrecy, he is sacrificed. And for if he does not know this number, he knows this number one, two, three. This number has been announced, so he knows this number. And what can recover this inside number? But how he will recover this number? Because for this thing, it will be it will cover, but for this thing, it will also cover. But this thing is also covered. If you could know what is the number of the small boxes, the small size, the small uh, rectangle, then he could recover the message. But he is not told that Bob can recover. Alice will not recover because at least for each block is equal to three. This will pack, this will pack, this will pack, this will pack, this will pack. So sacrificing this amount. They can generate. If you can capture this idea, then, then actually quantum simplicity will understand. As I told you, that why this quantity is larger than this quantity, this cannot be guaranteed by physical laws, but in quantum world, this can be guaranteed. No, but things will be more complicated because we are using quantum in classical world. <coughs> every different sequence can be identified. No, but in quantum world, every different sequence of states may not be identified. You may not be able to identify. So things are much complicated. Now, I'm going to clear to everyone. Idea, idea is very intuitive, very simple. That you could send much information to Bob, but you want to clear secrets, and that's why you are sacrificing. Amount of information so that secret is maintained, and this quantity that amount of secret bit that you generate, this is given by difference between n into different, two to the power n into difference between the mutual information. Only thing that I am telling that if this is greater than this, this can be done, but this cannot be guaranteed by any laws of classical world. Now I, I will finish after telling just one thing. Let from a source with px probability state is rho x. So x is a classical input. Now question is taking by taking the system, how much information about x you can extract? Do you know if you can tell as it's bound up bound on that information? Olego bound is telling and then a key symbol I should use. What is the quantity? So it is density matrix is 
So it is bounded by or yes, I like <laughs> now, I don't know whether you have read or Monica read whether for a single system this is very good bound. I don't know. This cannot be very good. For a single system, it's, it's asymptotically. No, I am not telling asymptotically. For a single case, if you try to run the state, this bound does not mean anything. Maybe for, for, for some particular case, uh, Information that you may start maybe close to this quantity, but in general, this is not very. Now, I actual implication of this thing I am trying to tell because when you are doing the quantum mechanics, you have to remember there are non orthogonal states, there are, there are measurements which disturb the state, all this quantum, quantum, all that. Now, if from a source, <coughs> if from such source, you take large number of quantum system, then what will be the what will be the what will be the typical sequence? Typical sequence means if n number I will take n into px1 number of rho 1 or rho x1 rho 1 I do n into px2 number of rho 2. So if you take a large sequence, then the states will be like this. But a typical sequence will be n into px1 number of row 1, n into px2 number of row 2, n into px2 in this way we will get. I am considering only only typical sequence. So how, how much typical sequence, sequence are there? It is classical. So 2 to the power n hx. Now question is how many of them do you think if I if I if I consider all the possible sequence of states whose number is this thing, I can distinguish among them. What do you think? Okay, can you tell me what will be the Hilbert space? <coughs> Actually, I didn't discuss Schumacher's theorem, but can you tell me if I take this kind of sequence? Uh, so, so what will be the what will be the I mean I, I can tell the, the state is because I, I can consider a uh, random states are randomly coming. So the states are effectively low. So if I take n copies of them, then can you tell me what is the effective universe space uh, on which it is supported? So see the this number, which number is greater? This number or this number? That number is greater. <coughs> so if you if you ask me to distinguish among these states, then even this number is going beyond the dimension of the space, effective dimension of the space. So it is not possible. So the next question is, so what is the number that I can distinguish by some pretty good measurement? Well, that is a little bit complicated thing. But I am asking just, what is the number that you can distinguish among them? This number is related to it. I mean, among these states, if you take n into what 
If you take these amounts of states, again, randomly from this two to the power of the influences, then there is a proof that you can distribute something. And actually, that's why it is zero to the general capacity. Because when I'm telling it is PSI, it is coming lowest, you can imagine a channel where actually you are sending to your state, but because of the channel, quantum channel, it's becoming density. So it can be related to quantum, uh, classical capacity of quantum. But for my thing, what you have to remember that among these sequences of states, where there are possible two to the power n n in each sequences, how many you could choose randomly, how many of them you can distinguish? The number is given by where chi is the level. And actually, meaning of chi is or useful of chi is here. It's related to channel capacity. For single particle, actually this distribution will be, of course it is bounded by this quantity, but for single case, if you take density matrix, if you take some pure state, your pure state in some way, it may have some meaning, but. <coughs> now I give you a impression why this is this is the number. But the chi equal to Chi is not less than chi. Chi is equal to this. Chi is less than. This is the accessible This is measurement result. This is my classical state. Measurement result is also classical. <coughs> now, you may ask why this is the number? Why this number? So let us take it into by What is the full dimension, whole dimension? Whole, whole dimension in the sense of physical. So as I told you, can you tell me the dimension of this sequence? Where n into px1, n into I make it six. P1. N into P1 number of row 1, N into P2 number of row 2. Can you tell me what is the what is the typical dimension of this sequence? Achha, what is the dimension of this thing first? Let us see. N P1 number of row 1. So what is the typical dimension? In P1 in P1 P1 row 1. So 2 to the power n p1 s of row 1. s of row 1. Then there will be n p2 number of row 2. What will be the dimension of that? So finally, you can go so in this way, it will go. So finally, it will be n into pi s rho and as you are considering only the typical sequence, dimension of all, all the sequences, effective dimension or typical dimension for each sequence will be like this. Now your inverse space is Now, and dimension of this half space that is typical, typical, typical dimension of the typical subspace that is covered by this string, this is this for each sequence, then how many of them can be, can stay in this 
in Ilgar space, this in a disjoint way. If you go more than that, then there will be intersection. intersection. So it will be it will be far in a row. Where row is this thing? Why it will be far in pi? Now you are coming to polygon point. But it is telling that it is telling that. In principle, in principle, so this is equal to two in S row minus pi is of It's telling in principle you can choose this number of states such that they can be they could be distinguished. But again, the question is coming that if I if I choose there will be in a cunning way, then, then still there may be some, some, uh, some you know, intersection and I will not be able to distinguish. But in principle, this much can exist. Again, again, that if we randomly choose these numbers, it can be achieved. That is the OS mode length mode. Polyvalve also. Was more like a show of the good bit ladder. H is done. In five or ninety six. Ninety five is the DSA. To mark our compression. This is very good. But we can do all these analysis because we did not do any engineering. Carefully choose the number of states so that they can be distinguished. Then it will be only engineering problems. But we can do theoretical physics because the theorem tells that if you choose randomly this number from that thing, that's why you can do many blocks and use it for secrecy, even entanglement distillation that will be discussed. But this is very beautiful. And this result actually this polygon point, this has implication only for this. And that's what challenge comes. I mean classical capacity of quantum. Because to have classical capacity of quantum channel, the output you have to distinguish among them to recover classical information. That's why for Classical capacity of quantum channel, we have to maximize over this quantity. I mean, we have to maximize over this quantity. And if it is not arranged, then we have to take n number of them, and then for the input, we take the full freedom and maximize. I mean, you can entangle it. But money can take, if I use, I can use both, both entanglement based measurement and input entanglement. Which one does not give any benefit? So if you uh, product basis product. measurement will not be any. C. So we can define C P P means product encoding, product decoding. Then we can de define in entangle encoding, product decoding. That will be same as C P P. But we can do product encoding, entangle decoding. That will be higher. That is the whole. Finally, we can do entangle encoding, entangle decoding. That formula we don't. Know. Oh, if that is that is. That yet formula is not known because that is the testing result. That that also. So it indi is not indication. Yeah. So it is yeah. Single letter. So it is, it, it is not arid. I think. So if you have any question, you can take. Let us thank Guruda, and we join I think on twenty eight. Same, same time, 11, and then start. So if you have any question, you can take. Hello, sir. Yeah. So online, yeah. Uh, this is Arkashit, huh? Arkashit. Arkashit Baranwal. Yeah, please. Go. Hello, sir. Uh, it's actually my personal question uh, regarding a whole, uh, mutual information. Mm -hmm. uh, 
let we have two parties, Alice and Bob. Alice is uh, encoding something in get plus and get zero state, and Bob is performing measurement. Yes. So how will we calculate its mutual information and what how that measurement will play that role in mutual information? That I want to know actually. So mutual uh, information, you see, mutual information between two classical variables, but what how you are asking the question? I am asking about in measurement scenario means how will measurement play the role in that mutual information? So you, you try to see in this way. Let's say x, there are two messages, x is equal to zero and okay. x is equal to one. Yeah. Now zero you want to and encode in k zero state and one you want to encode in k one say k plus state. Okay. Now your your goal is to distinguish zero and plus state. Yeah. But being non-orthogonal, you cannot perfectly distinguish them. Yes. So now you can ask this kind of question. Okay, what is the maximum probability we can? What is the minimum error we can do? Or then you can calculate whole of quantity. Yes. Sir, actually that I have uh, already calculated, but I want to know means how will we when Bob is performing that measurement, how it is showing in that mutual information? That I want to know. Mutual information means there quantum case means that information means there is the index that a and you are performing some measurement of the quantum system and get some classical result which is y yeah. relation between them is called holobo quantity which is actually mutual information between this classical variable and measurement result now if it is if half probability it is zero and plus yeah then actually it will be it will be s of because pi this quantity will be zero because this is pure state so this will be uh, so, so, uh, half of zero 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 plus plus half of one plus 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 plus. Yes. So this is a density matrix. Immediately, very difficult to tell what is this quantity because this is not orthogonal state. So I have to diagonalize it exactly. and calculate. We have to find the eigenvalue and then then you can find the error. Uh, it's uh, error success, error probability is 0 0.707 that I have calculated, and it's uh, success probability will come 0.293. No, no, that is different kind of quantity. You are that is the, that is the Hellstrom yes, success no. probably you are talking about. But mm. Holeo quantity is this. Holeo quantity will come uh, 0.6016. Maybe something like that. Yeah. yeah. That I have calculated actually. But oh, oh, your, actually... your classical information about the state will be bounded by that quantity. Yes. Yes, sir. Do you get the do you get your answer? No, sir. <laughs> not. Means not in means no, no. how what? it is related to measurement that I am not getting. No, no, this Holebo quantity has been calculated by performing all possible measurements. So that has yes. been done already. Now final final quantity is Holebo, this called Holebo quantity. Now your case is pure state. That's why the Holebo second 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 term in the Holebo quantity will be zero. That will be pure state, that's why it will be zero. Entropy of equal picture of zero and plus. And yeah. maybe you are correct that if you take equal mixture and zero and plus, the quantity will be less distinctly less than one, and it may come as 0. 0.6 something. What you are talking about, yeah. Because if they are orthogonal, then it is one. Yeah, that will be one for sure. Yeah. But because it is non-orthogonal, that will the be quantity it. will be less than equal to one, distinctly less than one. Yes, sir. Okay. So if you want to encode in zero and plus, that is the optimal you can do. Okay. Fine, sir. Thank you. Any other question? From here, any other question? If not, let us thank Guruda once more. And online also, we will join again on 28th.